The Irish government helping asylum seekers to vote in elections is a self-serving power grab disguised as a good deed. This is Ben Scallon and you're watching Gripped Media. Before we start the video, please consider signing up via the link on screen to become a Gripped Premium member which comes with all sorts of perks and helps us to pay the bills and survive day to day. And also please like and leave a comment to help us in the algorithm. And so with that said, on to the video. German philosopher Bertolt Brecht once famously said something to the effect of the people have failed, we must elect a new people. And this is a sentiment which the Irish government seems to have taken very much to heart. Last week it was revealed that the Irish state is issuing guides in foreign languages including in Ukrainian to inform asylum seekers how to vote in the local elections next year. As reported by the Irish Times, Ukrainian language guide to Irish local elections published. Ukrainian language guides on local elections in Ireland and getting on the electoral register have been published as the number of potential eligible voters among refugees from Ukraine tops 55,500. The next local election is due to take place next June and the guide explains how every person over the age of 18 is entitled to register to vote in the area where they ordinarily live to elect county and city councillors. Some 91,464 people people from Ukraine had fled to Ireland in the wake of Russia's war on their country as of last weekend. Of these, 55,567 are aged 18 and over and will be eligible to vote if they stayed in Ireland and registered in advance of polling day, which will be on an as yet undecided date between June 6th and June 9th, 2024. The Department of Housing has also published guides in Arabic, Romanian, Polish, Russian, Chinese and many more languages. Languages. Though it may come as a surprise to many people, this has actually been a policy in Ireland for years, believe it or not. Anyone ordinarily living in Ireland can vote in local elections whether or not they're a citizen. Refugees were given the right to vote in Irish local elections in 2004. In fact, non-nationals can even run for election. If an asylum seeker wanted to run for the locals next year, they'd be perfectly entitled to do so legally, provided they're over the age of 18. But but while this policy is not new, this upcoming election will be unique due to the unprecedented number of asylum seekers the government has parachuted into the country in the last year. There are now far more alleged refugees arriving into Ireland than we would have seen previously with a much bigger potential to sway the vote. The government's own civil servants expect 180,000 refugees to be here by the end of the year. Now at this point one has to ask how an asylum seeker who isn't even able to speak the language of the host country can possibly make an informed decision about who to vote for? Is their vote not uninformed almost by definition? For example, I don't speak one word of Slovenian. I couldn't name a Slovenian political party if my life depended on it. I don't understand anything about those local issues, their culture or their history. And so if I move to Slovenia tomorrow, does anyone think that I'd be able to cast an informed vote on the issue of the day? Well, obviously not. An Irish voter wandering into a Slovenian election would be incredibly easy to manipulate because they wouldn't know any better than what the last political candidate had told them. You'd be voting blindly on things that you had absolutely no knowledge of and just hoping for the best. And that wouldn't be your fault, of course. Nobody expects you to be an expert in South Korean or Estonian politics. That doesn't make you a bad person for not knowing those things. But it would mean that the government probably shouldn't be encouraging you to vote when you likely haven't got a clue what you're actually voting for. And yet apparently the Irish government wants people from all over the world who don't even speak English, let alone Irish, to vote in their droves by the tens of thousands to decide the future fate of our local democracy. It is actual madness. But in fact, it's worse than madness because madness implies that it's just senseless. So far as I'm concerned, this is also a cynical and Machiavellian ploy by the government to retain power under the guise of being inclusive, whatever that means. Because after all, just think about it. It's pretty logical to assume that many asylum seekers will feel indebted to the government, whether an individual is genuinely fleeing war or falsely claiming asylum 
asylum just to improve their standing in life. Either way, the government has done those people a favor that they likely won't soon forget. Because who gave them their brand new modular homes and luxurious hotel rooms? Well, the government did. And so who are these asylum seekers going to reward with their vote when the election comes around most likely? Well, the government parties that have given them their new life, right? That's just common sense. And bear in mind that this is coming after all the backlash to open borders seen during the East Wall protests. So in effect, what the government has done here is import tens of thousands of likely voters as the governing parties consistently drop in the polls with native Irish citizens, they are bringing in a new electorate knowing that many of those people will likely vote for the establishment and the status quo that has benefited them so much. It's outrageous. It's not the fault of refugees and asylum seekers that this is happening, of course. They didn't choose our ridiculous voting system. But this is a fundamentally anti-democratic sleight of hand by the government that should be loudly called out and condemned for what it is, a self-serving power grab. Please like and share this video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider signing up for a monthly donation via the link on screen to help us produce more content like this. Alternative media like Grips needs all the assistance it can get, and every donation goes a long way. As always, thanks for watching.